This has been on my desk for like two hours. Uh, period test? Did you just eat a fetus? Yeah. What the fuck? Like me on my B-Day vibes. I, I'm on my B-Day shit. You're on your queen mode. Okay, so it's my birthday. <laughs> week. It's my birthday week. It's the end of my, it's the last day of my birthday week. It's still your birthday month. It's my birthday slay. We should start sure. celebrating birthday months. We should start celebrating Aquarius slay. Mm. I don't know when that would start or end or what it means. Hmm. Anyway, am I the only one who, my birthday just didn't feel the same this year. Am I the only one who like thinks this pandemic is like going on for too long and like, <laughs> it's like. Am I the only one who's like over the pandemic? Like I just want to go back outside and I want to be with my friends and I want to drink freaking beer in the streets. Exactly. Well, I mean, in the streets is kind of weird, but. And illegal, so. Why is that illegal? <laughs> Public intoxication. Why is that illegal? The government wants to control you. Fuck the government. <laughs> Burn it to the ground. Don't get the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get the vaccine. It's gonna chip you. I would love to be chipped and trapped. No, like, you know how much fucking attention that means. Like, the bitches who get like who don't who are scared of the vaccine because they're gonna get chipped are literally delusional <laughs> because you're literally tweeting that from your iPhone that is tracking every fucking step you also, take. Also, you're the most boring bitch on the fucking planet. Like, no why don't you want to be chipped? If anyone wants to track anyone, the government wants to track a girl like me. A huge drug dealer. <laughs> okay, so I was like, hmm, I should celebrate my birthday. Um, I should get ready. I should go out on the town. A no little, mask. Uh, Oh, mm. no mask. No, no mask, no problems. <laughs> no mask. I got 99 problems and a mask ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and a lot of you are probably like, Enya, why is your face like, why do you have makeup on, but this is your outfit? Like you've been in your pajamas all day. Um, no, I took a shower and I put this on by choice. This is like literally where Enya is at. Oh, no, no, hey, hey. Don't act like you know me, like you know me. And you'd be like, the only time I get ready is when I do my job, and her job is IG, to take an IG pic. <laughs> hello, my baby, hello, my dad. Dude, that looks like shit. It, like, <laughs> literally, like, it I makes... Look good. I was about, I, like, that looks good with any other outfit, but, like, it really shows the importance. Like, if you don't have a good outfit picked out and you have a piece that you just throw on, it just looks terrible. Like, you look like shit right now. You look so oh, fucking bad. Oh, but if Kendall Jenner put it on, it would be a thing. <laughs> this is what I'm going to wear to my first opera. Wait, am I the only one who, like, the second quarantine is up, I'm going to a fucking opera. Mm, I'm dying. The musical. <laughs> I'm going to go to the extravaganza on ice. I'm to see Beetlejuice. <laughs> I'm trying to see the extravaganza on ice. I'm trying to see COVID the musical on ice. But while on ice, and by ice I mean math. <laughs> so I was thinking like, what are a few things I could do for my birthday? I have quite a night planned out. It's already like 4 p.m. because um, like I said, I took a shower, I did my makeup, and then I was like, but what if I put on something comfy? Comfy? And comfy? What, what do you mean? Ah! Um, so when I wanted to be comfy and slay my day away by sitting on my phone, and having extreme anxiety about what? I have no idea. The and world. Literally when I use my phone, I am not enjoying any entertainment on there. I don't know what I do because if you look at my activity on my phone, like my activity average daily on Instagram is 40 minutes and that's the only social media app I really use other than TikTok. I, I don't know what I do on there. All I know is I go on that phone, I get anxiety, I bite my nails. And I pace. Dude, phones are so scary. Social media is fucking terrifying. 2021, let's try it without technology. Mm. This isn't open all the way and it's freaking me the fuck out. So I have a plan for the day and I was like, what would make my birthday feel like a birthday? Gifts. Um, and what's a great place to get gifts from? Parade. Oh, nice. It's a parade for my birthday in my new sexy underwear. Girl, let's see it. Take off them pants. Hmm? No, I have them in the box. Sorry, I was just like, I was just like in the moment. Well, how like, about you put them on? Because I know your stinky ass needs new underwear. Girl, just because I wear my fucking boxers for four days a week does not mean I need new underwear. They have no holes in them. Okay, maybe a little fucking stain. There's a hole. There's a stain here or there. <laughs> Do you know how much self-restraint it took not to fucking open this? I don't know if they're going to let me put this in. 
but last time they sent me a box, I straight up just opened it and she's, started wearing them. She's opened them <laughs> three times already. Like, So, if you don't know what Parade is, Parade is a sustainable underwear brand that I super, super live, laugh, and love. I live, laugh, and love by Parade. We should do a collab yes, and that could be my thing. I, don't, I mean, like me living in a pair, me laughing in a pair, and me loving in a pair. I mean, that's kind of mid. I think you can come up with something okay. better. POV. It's mail day, you get your box, you have no underwear on because you threw all those old gross pairs out so that you could have a new box Stinky. for parade. So, you open the box, super slay cute. Stickers, which are always so fun. Companies undermine how important stickers are, but maybe that's also because my small brain is like, it, stickers. I was about to say, literally, I have, I've always neglected stickers my whole life, but since you've started collecting stickers, I've been like, I need stickers. And like you and Josh both, but the stickers so are nice. so, fucking, oh so freaking and cute. And then literally Lynn Mc the third is in here. Mama. You get all of them in 100% compostable packages. Um, here are the pairs I got, and then you get to be a part of the club. It is a club. If you get you know, the scarf, you're a part of the club. I was about to say, if you like want to go to the club, but you can't because of the pandemic and it's really irresponsible, join the parade club. Literally, having the parade scarf is like, it, it, it's like being a part of something, but all alone at your house. Um, so it'll be super, like, not like, as fun as the club, but we're all making a sacrifice. We talk about clubs like we went to clubs. We never went to clubs, so like. I'm scared and socially anxious of clubs. I'm like, scared I'll see someone I know. Before I turned 21, I was too scared to get a fake, and a lot of people are gonna think that's a lie, but it's not. I genuinely had way too much anxiety to have a fake, and I refused to go to any clubs, and then I turned 21 in the pandemic habit. Thank you, Parade, for partnering with me for this video. I really do. Love this brand. I want to make that very clear. Like, this is the only wear underwear I own. And yeah. not because I'm like, they have sent me all the underwear I own. I have fully went and bought underwear from them. I was From the beginning, I've always been so obsessed with them. And having the chance to partner with them is really cool to me because they're just so independent in the way they like to approach the underwear industry. And especially if you are like a young woman you know growing up underwear has always been so overly sexualized against your will but parade stands in underwear making you feel how you choose to feel yeah you killed that hire me all right i need to like put these to walk through you need to buy your own now that i have new sexy underwear i'm gonna put a pair on and we can see where the night goes I think I need to put on a cute outfit. I also would like show y'all more things I bought, but I've bought so many things in the past week and none of them have arrived yet. So that's awkward. That's a fail. No newbie day fit. I mean, at least you got the Uggs on though. I know, I'm not kidding. I like, like how I feel in this. I know, I literally, ew, in this outfit or in the Uggs? No, in the outfit. Ooh. It's grown on me. No. It's growing mold. Literally, if Bella Hadid wore this, y'all would be like, slay. No, we wouldn't. It's my birthday. Okay. This outfit is a literal war crime. Crime. You need to be tried for your tri You need to be tried for your crimes Should against I just humanity. Should this on the whole video? Um. I mean, if you want, I think. No, no, no. no. Okay, you're right. I need to put on like a cute little fit. Technically, what would I wear to the club if I was going to the club? Like. Mm. Because I, ha I have a feeling my friends are throwing a surprise party for me tonight. We're not. We're not. <laughs> I just have this inkling. Every time I mention it, they're like, no, we're not. And I'm like, that's exactly what someone who's throwing a surprise birthday would say. <laughs> you are delusional. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what club attire is, and I don't know that I own any. <laughs> Why are you in your closet like 30% of every video we've recorded? <laughs> Because I'm always embarrassed with how gross it is. Fine. Look, oh, I'm a person no, no, no. Uh -uh. I'm just a normal girl with a messy <sighs> closet. I always make fun of bitches for having puzzle clothes in their room. <laughs> I'm like, not me. Girl, throw me that. Let me sniff. It's all clean. Throw me that. Uh, yeah, Dude, I want to smell so that. Good. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Did it get you high? That was crazy. That was literally a whippet. 
So I think. Should I just try? Oh! Isn't that crazy? It's so intense. Oh wow! Not us <laughs> sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to the point where we're sitting here sniffing alcohol wipes. <laughs> Dude, Eddie loves me. She says treats. Why is she yelling at me? What? Wait, move. Do you want food? I literally love her so fucking much. The girls want to see the closet. The girls want to play with girls and the boys, boys want to play, play with girls and the girls want to play with the boys and the girls want to play with the boys and the girls want to play with the girls. I look New York street, uh, I look New York fashion week ready. Put on some like normal pants and maybe we'll, we'll talk about it. Whatever, hater, hater, hater. Right, I have this dress I could wear for nice moments. Nice moment in time, but it's, it's cold in our house. It's so 56 in our house. Yeah, okay, I could wear this. Wait, but if I'm going to a club, am I gonna wear a cardigan? Mm, you could. It could be like a chic club, like a, like a, uh, not like a go and dance and get sweaty club, but more of like a drink a martini and converse. It could be a one oak sleigh town club. Exactly. We could go see Kylie Jenner. Club moment. We're, okay, like, a, okay, what this club is, is we're getting in, invited to Kylie Jenner's VIP table at, um, Delilah's. Okay, I have just the outfit for that. Hold on. I'll be right back. I have the outfit for that. That's hmm. literally the occasion. Oh, interesting. Huh? Is it interesting? Yeah. It's like kind of fun. Okay, this is just something minimal though. Okay. Ooh. So I know you're thinking like, oh, that skirt can definitely be steamed a little. Oh. But imagine. <laughs> In there. Very good, very Fruits Magazine. No, this is very. Avant-garde. This is very stupid, very bad, very ugly. Okay, but what if I did this? No, mm mm. Kylie would kick you out. Kylie would kick no, you. No, Kylie would be like, I need you to model for Kylie and Kendall for Paxson. <laughs> I don't know why I did Trump's accent. She, no, I think Kylie and Kendall no, would be like, this Kylie is the. Kylie and Kendall would be like, Come here, and they would grab my hand and pull me close, and then I'd like bump up to them and be like, oh, hee hee hee. And then they'd push and you then down and me. spit on you and stomp on you. I never, and for listen, the listen, respect. you're saying all that like it's a bad thing, but that sounds erotic to me. Low-key disrespectful, I just, I'm just gonna say it. But if you put that one, that one IG sound over this, it would be magical. Oh. Okay. Actually, now I'm feeling it. That's what I'm saying. And it's comfortable. I still, I'm no, no, Cause no. Cause I just wouldn't be the kind of girl to go to Kylie Jenner's um, private club party and like stand against the wall and not dance. I and that chose, is exactly, <laughs> that is exactly who you are. <laughs> no, I chose that so I could dance. We would be at Kylie Jenner's, ooh. And this would be my bag of the night. <laughs> we would be at Kylie Jenner's party. <laughs> Imagine you yeah. showed up like this. <laughs> the funny thing is, I thought I was getting ready for my big night out for my 22nd celebration of the life of Anya Umanzor. I didn't know I was catering to this Jenner fantasy. So give me another. Girl, you literally made the fantasy up. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> we could go see Kylie Jenner. Club moment. We're, okay, like I'm, okay. What this club is is we're getting in, invited to Kylie Jenner's VIP table at um, Delilah's. Um, I Who think just. The world, Kylie Jenner. Who run the world, Kylie Jenner? Kendall Jenner. I think if you just like kind of dressed, like, cute. 
and just anything as far away from that as possible of, of like what you have on right now, I think you'd be better off okay. on it. Yeah. I'll try as far away from this as possible. Yeah. I have to like poop out of my butt really hard right now, Anya. Oh. Well, like, what does that mean? Oh, um, I think I want to go after we film this outfit. So like, kind of hurry up. I'm gonna go um, poop out of my little butt and like empty my colon. No, I I swear to God, I'll poop my little panties. Oh, your little parade panties? Exactly. Uh -huh. It's my birthday extravaganza outfit. Uh, are you doing this to spite me or? No, no, no. Like you said, tone it down. Go as far away from where I was. So I did that. I mean, this is literally just a white t-shirt and blue jeans. The only hit is the Uggs, which well, like... Well, the, the funny thing is, this is off your direction. So see how lackluster your ideas are? Oh my god, my I'm... prostate literally just spasmed. <laughs> they literally just did it. Well, then go take that little poopy girl and I'll put on my real outfit. I'll put on my real birthday bash outfit. Yeah, but don't like put something weird together out of spite. Like, because this is just like really... The thing is, this was literally all under your direction. Like maybe put on an undershirt and some like, like a, like a, like layer it a little bit. It's just kind of like boring. Like you're just boring, honestly. Okay, I'll try again. Mmm, official. Ooh. See now this, this is cute. I will say, um, a lot of people will be like, ew, the Uggs, take the Uggs off, but no. Literally, where am I going? Yeah, that's tea. To the living room? Uh, it's like when a lot of, uh, YouTubers are like, OMG, if only you guys knew I only, I only had, like, I was wearing sweats under this, like, uh, below the frame. <laughs> Hello? Oh, sorry, I'm catching a dratini. So now that I'm ready to hit the town, um... And we technically can't. Let's close our eyes and use our thinking caps. If my friends were gonna surprise me with the surprise birthday party tonight. And yet, like, seriously, we're not doing that. We're not throwing a party for you or. So, if I could pick, I think I would go to Nobu. You know, classic LA, live, laugh, love. Mm, um, that is a moment. It is a classic LA moment. So, um, I already called, and trust me, I did offer sex. Because um, I was like, I know y'all are like technically, legally allowed to do dine-in, but what if I gave you something? My whole... Uh, in ya. What? I, I'm just trying to be real with my audience and say what I did, and I did offer sex. That's like very, that's well, one I morally. Do, so they don't have to. It doesn't work. All right, guys. It's just like, it's not going to be the same. But thank God I have friends who are really awesome, and they're going to set it up for me like a little restaurant. Mm hmm. Who said that? It's going to happen. <laughs> I don't, okay, we'll see. I'm going to order it on Drew's card. Oh, mm -mm. uh, that'll decline. Um, so we're definitely ordering. I'm ordering Nobu right now, like the really expensive restaurant. I'm ordering it right now, right now. I'm getting that. <laughs> Let us see. How do you? Uh, you we just want to see the price. I like to teach my followers like um, good boundaries and morals, and you're stepping over every single boundary by trying to look at my phone, like. It's like we're in a toxic relationship and you're trying to see if I texted someone. Whoa. The hell? That's literally fucking your lie radar. It's like if it turns pink, you're lying. No, this is my sexy time. Lights! The food has literally been here for an hour. There's no more daylight. Um, and I've been waiting on Drew to come up with a caption for his IG while he sits on my bed like this. <laughs> I'm thinking right now, shady AF comebacks. I know I'm sexy. You didn't have to tell me that twice. Or, or keep calling me sexy to feed my ego because it's massive. Or I don't say anything about being sexy because the second I acknowledge it, I get called ugly.
Y'all really think he's sexy? Ew! <laughs> um, so, my friends, as it turns out, didn't set me up a birthday dinner. Actually, Josh left the house, so now I'm just stuck here with Drew, which is literally like the prop like the is the best thing. The worst thing that could have happened on my birthday is literally happening to me, so I'm living in a nightmare right now. Um, and the lighting in the kitchen is also horrible, and my life sucks. Stop crying when you're behind the camera. Like, save it for later. It's gonna make it really hard for me to edit. I'm sorry. Um. So we're gonna eat in here picnic style. I guess I'll still eat with Drew because it'll be even sadder. Drew, come on! Hold it in. It'll be even sadder if I eat alone on my floor. So we're gonna do a little picnic in here. And we were gonna eat, but it smells like shit because of the litter box. So I have to clean the litter box. Because <laughs> it literally <laughs> smells like fucking dookie on ice. It's radiating poop smell. It smells like dookie butt blood in here. I wish cats just held in their poop. I wish they never pooped. Like, I wish cats didn't poop like girls. Like... You think... Wait, wait, wait. Do you think girls don't poop? <laughs> I've never seen a girl poop once in my life. Well, I've never seen a man poop. I know, you're, I know you're a troll by nature and you're trying to troll me right now, but it's not working. I know girls don't poop. You're fucking ridiculous. Okay, now that the litter box is clean, the candle is lit. Time for a romantic dinner with my bestie. Oh, you said romantic. I said it for the fucking camera. Mm. We should have uh. Come on. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, let me get it. Oh, hey, let me try it. it. Something's wrong with you. I'm just trying to have fun. No, don't worry. Oh, look, it fell apart. That's your piece. And don't worry, I did not wash my hands after handling the litter. Ew. Oh, ew, you touched my fucking salmon. It's spicy tuna. Oh, that is a slay. Yeah. I swear those? to God. And yet, no. <gasps> is that egg on top? It, um, I couldn't tell. Stop. You didn't have to do that with your plate. I know your fingers are oily. Oh, and now you're... You cannot just enough. lick your finger and touch my sushi. I'm trying to prep. We've made out multiple times. Yeah, but the we're not together anymore. Anymore. I, 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 I. <laughs> So if you guys don't know, um, this is what Nobu looks like. It's this not is Nobu. Just like a How many times have I lied for you in your dumb little videos? Dumb little videos. Ooh. Like I said, Nobu. Fine, fine. We couldn't get Nobu because it was expensive. Ooh, broke. Ooh. You know I don't upload enough to upkeep the lifestyle that I choose to live. Ooh. So I don't know why you would say that. Like, just let me live my facade. And you know I'm literally uploading this because I'm late on giving you rent. Witch! Let's dig in. It is kind of nice. Like what? Let me doing. feed you. Let me feed you. Okay. All over my floor. You think I give a fuck? Oh, I know there's kitty litter in that. I know there's kitty litter in that. Fuck. It. It's it's a little grainy. Yeah, I won't lie, it's grainy. Just me and my bestie eating my birthday bash dinner on the floor near the kit the litter box. You know, happy birthday, Anya. Thank you for buying this for us. Yeah, I had to buy my own birthday dinner. Maybe? Mm -hmm. The moral to be learned is like, um... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Um, my birthday was actually really sweet. Everyone chipped in to get me a PS2 and a bunch of video games. Which I know sounds like kind of lame, but... It sounds lame to be like, I got a PS2 when the PS5 just came out. <laughs> my family kept saying that. They were like, oh, you got the PlayStation 5? I was like, no, the 2. And they were like, <laughs> girl. Mm. Um, but I've been talking about getting PS2 forever because it's like the console I grew up playing. And we got one, and the fun thing about it is it doesn't play any PS2 games. Oh my god. Thanks for watching.
That's being 22. If you're wondering what being 22 is like, this is what it's like. Get the fuck out of my room. I just um, thought of like uh, a good title. It's like, how to have a birthday in quarantine. I hate living with this man. <laughs>